right, welcome back. February is almost done. It, today's date right now as we're filming this is what, the 26th? 26th. 26th. Oh, we got what, two more days? Yes. And then we can buy games again? Yes. So if something pops up in the next two days, we'll obviously take a phone out. We'll capture it. But the idea yeah. for this video is we're going to let you know what we missed out on. <laughs> yeah. And how much money we saved. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll see if we saved any money. What February's taught me is that it's an exercise and discipline or control that we need to do it because it can get out of hand spending money on video games. Yes. It can, it can. I did make a list because I'm not gonna remember all this. Some of you are real good at doing all that, but we have a list. <laughs> so we're gonna go off the list. First of all, right off, mm -hmm. right before- Days. Like, Maybe even the day before. One of them was the day before, mm -hmm. but there was two items that we missed out on literally the week before, probably just a couple of days before. One of them was a complete copy, a really nice, yeah. Um, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't say minty, but I want to say minty, but really nice complete copy of Conker's Bed for a Day. Yes, the complete N64. in box. Yep. We yep. do have a loose copy, so the plan <clears throat> was to trade towards that. Yeah, we were going to trade up, and I literally had things I had picked out of the collection, and I was going to trade against it. Yeah. You know, and then pay some cash. Exactly. For the, but the other thing hurt way more because we were in the store at that time. Yeah. And it was a copy of Lunar. Yeah, and it would have been behind. And usually they're like, hey, we got a Check copy this of this. We were actually in store. When it was there. When they posted it on Facebook. And we're like, okay, we didn't find anything. We left, we came home. You looked on Facebook, like, where, where the hell was this game? We were just there. I know. So we call, and like, no, it's uh, sold pending, shipping. pending shipping. So that means they posted it on Facebook somebody out of the city uh, saw, it. saw it and and wanted to buy it and it was all pending shipping and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I'm there all the time. I didn't even have a chance at this game. And I I'm there all the time. And that was literally the day before because we went out the day before yeah. because that was our last day. Oh, that, 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 that frustrated I, me. I feel like that, that probably hurt more than most did. anything on this list of things we missed in February. Yeah. So I've, I've been wanting I've been wanting a copy of Lunar and, yeah. and we were there. Yeah, there. and I just want to let everybody know there was a gray area of something I did pick up, Horizon Forbidden West, and I am happy to say it didn't cost me anything because they fucked up so royally that I ended up getting it for free. And I didn't tell you that because I wanted to tell you during the video. Thank you, Amazon. Yeah, I'm supposed to get it on Friday, on release day, and I got it today, Saturday. You got it like over a eight, week later. Eight days eight later. Eight days later. Eight days later. They gave you, actually gave you three different delivery dates. Oh, it was finally got it. ridiculous. I think it got lost somewhere. Yeah. yeah, it got lost. Lost, yeah. But you got a free game. But I got a free game, so I didn't, I didn't spend anything, guys. So that gray area <laughs> no. is... But you technically would have spent that back in September. I did anyway, spend so, it back in September, yeah. but I didn't really know. Sorry. Right. Okay, all. so let's go over the list of stuff that we. And this is her fun game every morning. I'm gonna go on marketplace. I'm gonna check and out things and Day. try to make Scott's day miserable. And I couldn't make it all that miserable. You, I, you tried. I tried. It's, it started off really slow. We have some asterisks beside things we probably we probably would have bought. Yeah. The other ones we probably would have been on the fence about and weighed our options. Yeah. The very first one on here is Gotcha Force. That's a GameCube game. It's a GameCube game, a very, very expensive game. Heavy cube. hitter. Yes. Yeah. They were asking for 50 and I know, I know guys, I know you're saying, you would spend $450 in you. It's worth 650 Canadian. Wait. On price charting. On price so. charting. So even if we might not have wanted it, it might have been a good trader towards something we wanted. We might have kept it. I don't know what we would have done. I honestly, I don't even know the game. So yeah. I, I wasn't, I, I remember you telling me, well, I actually yeah. didn't remember you telling me until we started going over the list. Know. And I was like, oh, oh, so I try not to get too worked up. 
yeah. through February there, but there was a couple of them that kind of burned my ass. Yeah. Like, this next one we probably would have got because it's a piece I, of history. Like, it's the Nintendo Power, power set. set, complete in box. Yeah. They wanted it's nice 300. Shape. It's $300. Yeah. Obviously, it's probably a collector selling selling it out of his collection. Yeah. And probably need money for something or whatever. Would have been cool I, to have. I, I, I would have got that. Yeah. You know, there's a few items like those nostalgic or like iconic items like the power glove is one of those iconic items that i want I to have know. in my collection and i just i know i've never seen a working power glove i'll see when they stick on the wall because it's broken, it's broken. junk and they'll yeah. just use it for decoration uh the next one on the list i i was on the fence about whether we would pick it up or not but it's pretty cool is time crisis 4 on ps3 in the big box so with the gun yeah with the game it was 50 dollars um not quite 100% sure what it goes for. I think it might go for a bit more. Would have been cool to have. Time Crisis 3, I do believe, is super expensive. Is, is it? A, I, yeah, there's one of them that's really expensive, complete in box, in that bigger box. Um, This next one killed me a little bit. I do have it on PSP, but I want it on uh, PlayStation 2 as well, and that's Manhunt 2. And they go for about 60 bucks Canadian. We could have got it for 25 so yeah we went into the store and it was there and i had it in my hands and i had to put it couldn't back couldn't do anything about it mon dan said to lean in to yeah look and yeah. see what you're missing the next one or actually i should say the next two because we saw them side by side in that was uh, uh shining tears and arc the lad so shining yeah. tears they were asking 60. it's worth a little bit more they're both ps2 games yes yeah. i seen them both and i was like I had to put them both back. I never. I didn't know. I know. I think I've seen Ark, Ark of the Lab before, but yeah. I've never seen the other one. There's Shining Tears. Going by what's on the back of it, without looking at any gameplay, it's like the game looks pretty. Cool. Yeah, and those are you. You probably would have picked up those two as well. I definitely would have picked up the Shining Tears. Yeah, Ark the Lab was a cheaper or game. Not. Yeah. So we probably and like you chances said, you are they're probably not going to be there next weekend. Probably but if not. they are, <laughs> if they are, watch out. <laughs> yeah, we may have money to burn. Mm. The next three I'm going to mention together as well. And this was all on the same all day. On the same. On the same fucking day. day. Fucking same store. Same Language. Fucking day. Language. Uh, this was all in the PS1. Like it's behind a glass case. So I took a picture, and you can't see the front of them, but you can see all the spines of them. We have mm. Bloody Roar 2, Evil Dead, oh, Hail one. to the that King, one. and Vanguard Bandits. Vanguard Bandits was, whoo, pricey. 170 bucks they were looking, but, uh, asking, but I don't know how much it is on price charting, but we will pop it up. I have that extra copy of uh, Grandia. Yeah. I'm gonna put against it. Evil Dead, they wanted <laughs> 40, and Bloody Roar 2 was 55. We most likely, Probably would have picked up Bloody Roar 2, almost yeah, for the sure. Yeah, Vanguard Bandits, I may have tried to do the trade. Yeah. I have like a, little, a very small little stack of games there that we don't doubles. tend to keep a lot of doubles. No. Or even buy a lot of doubles unless I yeah. mess up and buy one. I do that sometimes. Another one that was in the glass case, uh, Disaster Report. It was $80. We were there, and I have the other one, which is... Is it Danger something? I don't yeah, see. It's from the shelf over here. Yeah, I, that one we got at Moncton Pond. But, you know, you have to have the sequel or the... What? You haven't even played the first one. I yet. know, but I want the other one now! And <laughs> it's worth about 120, 100, 120 and uh, I probably would have got that one. You probably would have grabbed it. I probably would have grabbed it. It might have been an expensive day if we had the ability to buy. Oh, I think so. I think it would have dropped been. a few hundred. So the, the next several were either online, locally, or eBay. Uh, we have, we don't know what the proper term is for it, but I was like, a teal? N64? Oh. Teal goes. And we've seen it, but you know what? I, I'm not a collector that's going to collect all the different colors of the no. N64 there because some of those are, are very, very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. They want it 180 for that. Super Smash Bros. we used to have in our collection. We uh, donated it to a family that lost a bunch of stuff in their uh, fire, house fire, yeah. house fire. And so we had aspirations that's to possibly good. get it again. It was a decent price. Yep. And I don't know. I'll it, get it eventually. It, we'll get it eventually. Yeah. Would we have picked it up that day? It well, there's so many There were so things. many yeah. other things. 
this one was cool, but they were asking full retail price for it. Well, I say retail, but like what it's worth now. Yeah. The uh, RE4 Chainsaw Complete in Box. Resident Evil 4. Yeah, the Chainsaw GameCube. Controller. Chainsaw Controller, yeah. I know some of you have it, and I'm like super jealous because that is one of my top 10 games. I love that game. The last three games on our list are all games I know for sure we would have picked up. Yeah. Know for sure. Tales of Symphonia on GameCube. GameCube. That's what I want. It yeah. was on your list. Yeah, after playing Tales of Arise there, I wanted to look at more of the Tales game. Yeah. This one burnt my ass a little bit because I think that the problem, oh, yeah, the problem is too. we'd seen this one time for 80 bucks and did loose. not get it. it was loose. loose. Yeah. PS3 backwards compatible, the, uh, what is it, 80 gigabyte? I think it's the 80 gig, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the PS3. They had it complete in box. Yep. With three games, yep. and they want it 190. And I know, again, I know that's a lot of money, but they're going for over 300 dollars on price charting complete in box. So I just want one. To we just play. Want, yeah, <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. Really, 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 probably would have picked that up. I yeah, yeah. probably yeah. would have got that one. I really yeah. And then this one. This one pissed me off. This one pissed him this off. This one pissed me off because here's the story. There, yeah. I was on eBay. And it was literally the last evening that I could have bought anything. We're talking like hours, just a couple of hours before yeah. midnight. Might have been, let's say 10 o'clock, you know, two yeah. hours before midnight. And I'm like, I'm gonna put a bid in on this game. And I lost, I lost Not the by bid. much. Not by much. It's Siren on the PS3. I, I've been wanting one for a while. And because it's always an import, there's always like this big shipping cost. Yes. And this one was coming from, I think, Ontario. And I just missed out. And I'm like, okay, fuck, whatever. I mean, that sucked. But then three days later, eBay sends me a message, or the seller sends me a message. Hey, guess what? Person that won the bid, won the auction, backed out somehow, whatever. So here's your second chance. Do you want it for that price? <laughs> Fudge! <laughs> like, what the? Oh! Yeah, couldn't do it. Couldn't get it. Couldn't justify it. I couldn't break my no buy no. the days in. Like, now, I'm, I am telling you, there are some games that I know for sure I would have broke on. Like what? Haunting Ground. I would have broke for Haunting Ground. I would have yeah. traded all the shit that I had here for doubles and... Yeah, uh, I would have wanted to get Haunting Ground. Wouldn't if, have been able to pay for it. For here's her the thing: if Haunting Ground is in town, yeah, there's a few places I would have totally, for sure, bought Haunting Ground. I, that would have broke me. I think probably like, pretty much anywhere in the city would have bought it. Yeah, I. You know, nothing broke else. Me. I don't know. Nothing I could think of off the top of my head. Clock Tower. Maybe. Oh, Clock Tower. Might get me. Yeah, maybe. Clock Tower maybe. might have. It, it just it really just depends on the game and the the right moment the right price yeah yeah some stuff you just can't pass up on what are we gonna buy here now now that we're going into march yeah what's well, our yeah. first purchase someone's got a birthday coming up oh, i i already oh, got somebody a birthday present <laughs> so there's a couple of games just because I, I watch a lot of YouTube and yeah. people are putting in all these videos about games and this and that and, and there's a couple of games that are high priority on my list one of them is Okinawa Rush. It's, and it's on the Switch and I do believe on the PS4. And that was mentioned by Square Pegs, Square Pegs who is yeah. also doing No Fun February. <laughs> He's like putting these videos up to tease me. Yeah. But yeah, I guess like uh, you can get it on the Switch eShop there. It's not that much at all, but I want a physical copy, obviously, yeah. right? So and there's not many NTSC copies. No, Those that's the problem. Those are a little bit more expensive. That's the problem. Um, another game that I had seen is uh, Demons of Astedberg, if I pronounce that right. Yeah. Is it called Astedberg? Astedberg? I don't know. Demons of Astedberg. Anyway, it's... Retro you, Gamer Boy you, mentioned that on his yes, channel. Yes, I do believe you can yeah. get a digital copy for the Switch, but I think it's through the people that developed and oh, made okay. the game. But I think I want the physical... But that's a Genesis, right? Yes. Yeah. I want the physical oh, Genesis cool. copy, like in the clan oh, I know, I, well, I do I too. Want. That's what I want. It looks freaking phenomenal. It looks really, really good. Those are pretty high on my priority list for something to pick up here. I do you, know. Do you have anything? Um, nothing. No, oh. nothing. I might want to get the... Oh, Sifu, yeah, but that's not Sifu. coming out till April, I yeah, think, the physical. physical. Yeah. And then there's also, uh, I got the card guard for 
uh, Valentine's Day. So I will probably start looking for Alex. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm like, I think I'd like to have it. <laughs> it's going to be Got expensive. A birthday coming up. But the problem is now that the card card's complete in the package, now you need complete I need the Alice, Alice complete yeah. in the package, and that's the problem. So. Oh, if, if Manhunt 2 is still at the parlor, I am totally it. going to grab that. Yeah. Um, that would be the one that I really, really want, and I've already played it. But I just want it on PS2 because I really enjoyed the game. I'm yeah. that kind of twisted, so, fucked up person. <laughs> how much money did we save in February? Oh, well. Guys, we saved not a fucking thing. <laughs> we did make one purchase that was not a gaming-related purchase. <laughs> and uh, it was a designer puppy. <laughs> <laughs> designer puppy. I say that because it costs so damn much. I'm not saying how much you pay for it. No. We a lot for this no, product. we definitely yeah. didn't save anybody in February. No. And we could have bought all these games and still came out ahead if we wouldn't have bought the puppy. <laughs> so that's how much a puppy costs. Plus, he needed like a starter kennel and then a grow into kennel and th beds. Four, four beds. This is, who has four beds? Teddy. Teddy has four <laughs> beds because he has a bed in the game room, a bed upstairs, a bed in his kennel, and then a bed for his bigger kennel. Spoiled. Teddy has four beds and so many toys. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough, that's enough. yeah, it's like having a kid again. Like, kids aren't expensive. <laughs> yeah, they are. So yeah, Teddy's spoiled and uh, we have no money left. He's for... sleeping right now, but when he wakes up, we'll come shove him in front of the camera for a quick Minute. Yeah, we'll yeah. show you our, our little teddy bear. All right, turkey. This is oh, <laughs> you left a big drool stain on the table. Let's get you up here, sir. Like see I'm you. going to eat that table. <sighs> and that's our little baby teddy. He is growing like a bad weed. Oh, yeah. In the two weeks we've had him. Hmm. Hey. Right. Don't jump. Please don't jump. <laughs> ah, you're making me nervous, bud. <laughs> There. Look. Good boy. Look at that cute face. Look at that cute face. Yeah. He's going to eat your face. Hi. Hi. Right. Hi, baby. Hi. Yeah. So this is why we don't have any money left for video games. <laughs> I wore my glasses. I forgot. Oh, well. Okay. All right. Want to go get some food? Let's go get some get food. Get some food. All right, guys. See you later. Ugh. Hey. Are you barking at floss? You're barking at the floss. It's floss. You can't get it, can you? Oh, I know. That's why I said no. Are you being sassy? What does that look about? You? Oh, don't you grunt at me. You can't have it. It's not your floss. Teddy. No.